Let's unpack the Trump fine of $355 million. He's barred from New York temporarily. I wanted to cover some of the things here that we discovered. We can back, go, come back to Jordan. And some of the things here that uh, really highlighted um, this scenario. So Forbes estimates Trump's net worth at $2.6 billion as of September, which includes $426 million in cash and liquid assets. So this potentially could wipe out all his liquid cash. And he's still running for president which isn't enough to cover both the fraud fine, this one, and the 83.3 million Trump still has to pay as part of a separate defamation case brought by Ryder, by Ryder E. Jean Carroll. Now, some highlights back to the fine. Judge Engeron banned Trump from serving as an officer or director in any New York corporation for three years, prohibited him from taking out loans with New York banks and his said company. His sons, Eric and Donald Trump Jr., who run the business, were ordered to pay $4 million each. His former CFO was also ordered to pay $1 million. And here's the crazy part, bro. I was going through some of the details. A special monitor is being assigned by the government to oversee the operations of Trump or Trump's organization. And every day, that special monitor is going to have a yay or nay based on any operations they may deem fit or unfit based on a governmental bureaucratic standpoint and how they're going to run their entrepreneurial business. Because of this, is is he limited on what kind of business he can do because of everything's going Bro, on right now? Bro, he can't do anything for three years in New York. Nothing. No, he can't be. He can be a, a, a director. He just can't be an officer of, his, of any company, whether it be assigned to another company or his own company. He is barred from doing business in New York, period, unless he's like an employee, like a customer service rep. So if it was uh, in Trump's benefit, wouldn't it make sense to be, you said he could be a director but not uh, a chief, right? An officer. Yeah. Putting one of his sons in that position so he can still have some say-so. His sons are also barred. His sons are also barred from running any business in New York. I don't think for uh, for three, it's for two years. And they got to still pay the fines. Here's another thing. Trump is also required to pay interest. Here's Here's the crazy part. He's required to pay interest for the dates when he received benefits from this alleged fraud. So far, the so-called prejudgment interest adds to another $100 million of interest to these bills, according to the New York's attorney general. And that's what Trump said, but I'm going to create a product that could potentially pay. By the way, this is a lesson to your haters. For those of you looking at this type of stuff, now, I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah. Right? And he st- I, I've never been to a sneaker con. Well, Trump beat me to a sneaker con which is a sneaker conference for sneakerheads. So Trump dropped by Philly, and he unveils a new pair of sneakers called the Never Surrender High Top Sneakers. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, look at a pair of kicks, right? It's got an American flag. It's got uh, it's all in gold. Retailed on the site for $399. Now, by the end of the night, even though he was booed off stage because it's Philadelphia. Yeah. He was booed off stage, but nonetheless, people cheering, cheering, cheering. Nonetheless, regardless of the boos, he sold out 1000 pairs of shoes. But at that rate, he needs to sell another 471,000, 471,929 sneakers to pay these fines. Would you buy just to support or would you buy to, to actually wear? I would buy it as a collector's item. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, I, I, I purchased, you were there at the, at the conference we held a couple weeks ago in, in San Antonio, mm-hmm. the Escape the Magic Conference. Mm-hmm. And I bought, which was because I, I, was, uh, I was solicited by the White House to purchase this gold coin. And as I think there's only there's like 500, it's a limited gold coin. Yeah. And on this gold coin is stamped Trump's headshot. Shit. And bro, this is straight from the White House. Yeah. Okay. And on the back of it, it says booked. And, it's, and I bought it and here's why. Not because I'm all about Trump going down. No, because I want to commemorate because first time in ever in history of America, a former living president was actually incarcerated or, 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 or arrested and yeah. booked. And I would buy these sneakers because first time in history, a president. a president, a former president, launches a sneaker line. So if you're a sneakerhead, I just buy the damn thing just for, just for GP. Matter, matter of fact, I'm gonna go to uh, Stockers. We should go to Stock. I'll look on StockX right now to see if they're even on sale in the resale market. But yeah, that's what I would do. And he, yeah, go ahead. This is gonna be a short-lived uh, a sneaker, though. This is gonna be a short-lived. You know, I, I really doubt this is gonna be a long-term thing. Which is why you by you buying now or by anyone deciding to buy right now, it's gonna be probably one of the wisest things you can possibly do. Yeah, it will increase in price. It's limited, bro. Right. It's limited. Um by the way, for those of you out there, how many guys use stock? I use stock kicks, I use goat to buy my kicks, but I wonder if it's already up for resale on these resale markets. But uh, we'll take a look here in a minute. The other aspect too is is this. 
later that week, talk about staying focused, okay? Now, remember, this is not a Republican or Democrat opinion, because I've been through some riffraff too as well. Milton's been through some riffraff too as well. You don't get to any level of success without going, so, without going through some trenches and some very dark moments. It, so Trump's right now in a very dark moment. But he also launches a, a, another announcement because the Security Exchange Commission approved that his social media company, Truth Social, is merging with a SPAC called Digital World Acquisition Corporation, a special purpose acquisition company, which is basically a fast way to go IPO. Because usually, if you want to go IPO, it's about a year or two for you to do the IPO tours, to raise awareness, to raise investor money. So if therefore, by the time the initial public offering goes on, a lot of people are buying the stock. But the SPAC is, is already ready to go. Now, they're also estimating that if this goes through, and this merger goes through, and Truth Social goes public, along with the Digital World Acquisition Corporation, and they go IPO, that this may benefit anywhere from between three and a half to four and a half billion dollar valuation. So that's how you play offense, man. Now, regardless if it's gonna happen or not, or it's gonna go through or not, it's not a, it's not a thing, but you gotta keep making moves. So in the pit of your darkness, and you're not seeing the light of day in launching your business or things are attacking you, you still gotta keep the foot on the gas and get this monster that's in your rear view mirror to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller by you keeping the momentum going forward, even though everything may be coming your way. Quick setback, the, the CEO though, caveat is that the former CEO, Patrick Orlando of Digital, Digital World Acquisition, knows a lot of heat's coming down. So like, yo man, so I, I'm about to take this heat on with, with Trump, blah, 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 blah. And if you want me to stay as a CEO of this company, you gotta pay me a little bit more money. So now they're fighting a little bit more money, Right for him, what a great negotiation tool for him to be able to say that because this is gonna be an unordinary thing for him to take on, being now Trump's business partner. If you were in Trump's shoes, what would be, what would be your next move? Th this would be it, because when, I, when I, my, my back was against the wall, when, when I had my cases in child support, remember last week I had my daughter here. Yeah, I was yeah. going through family court with, with her mom and, and, uh, and uh, anytime you go through any moment of, of tightness, of doubt, of fear, you gotta play loose. You gotta, in, you gotta get back to the love of what you're doing and know what you're doing it for. And uh, what's the saying? When you're going through hell, don't stop and take pictures. Yeah. Well, actually I do because I wanna keep those as receipts. So therefore when I reach the other side as that gone abyss, <clears throat> I can say I conquered this mountain. And so th that's what I would do. Just keep going forward because success is your greatest revenge. Not just success, massive success. Is your greatest revenge. By the way, for those of you watching this right now, how many of you guys have ever been through a tough moment in your life and you realize, man, I can either feed into my fears or I can feed into my faith? And what did you choose? And so please let us know what you guys talk, uh, think about this and uh, let us know. What'd you find? I sent you the link to eBay. Look, look how much it's selling it for. Oh, it's, it's, already, it's already on resale? Yeah, I, I found one because the more pages kept clicking on, they were all sold out. This is the only one I found. Damn, okay, now this is capitalism. Well, this is capitalism. So Milton just found it on a resale market, not in stock, it's not on go, but on eBay. Check this out. Jordan, can we take a look at my screen? Now it's on sale. He, he listen, he sold it for for three ninety nine. Now nine. it's on sale for sixteen thousand nine forty seven. He just created an opportunity for other people. A size nine point five. He just created Shit. he just created a thousand opportunities for other people to yeah. flip his shoe. Yeah. So by the way, if people didn't think the shoe was valuable, if people didn't think the shoe was valuable. Why do you think people are trying to sell it for sixteen thousand dollars? Let's shit, let's go buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at the shoe. Would you buy the shoe? It's a collector's item. I love it. I'm kind of upset that I didn't buy one when I first got, saw it come out, man. Well, bro, I'm really upset. You, you had to be at SneakerCon, man. It's like we, we, a lot of us done. I mean, I'm in the sneaker world, but yeah. I didn't know, man. But uh, look at this. Look at this shoe, man. It looks it looks gorgeous, bro. They had a silver one and a gold one, correct? Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is uh, this is very patriot. So no, so in other words, no Trump hat, no red hat, no no MAGA hat. This this is the new MAGA hat. What would be the most you pay for the shoe right now? The most, seeing what he sold it for versus what they're offering on on uh, what they're, they're bidding it on eBay well, for. It's uh, you know, I mean, who knows, man? I mean, who, uh, the most I would pay for this at the moment. You know, this is a set of sneakers, sixteen thousand dollars, patented leather. I don't know, man. It's it's a collector's item. This is probably the most you'll ever get for it. 
I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. By the way, for those of you sneakerheads out there, because for example, I bought those Kobe's. That's right. And sadly, when I passed away, I bought the, the green Grinches. Yes. I bought this for five, six hundred bucks. Bro, I can, I've worn it. You've seen me wear it. I've, yeah. worn it. I've interviewed Deion Sanders with those shoes. Yeah. I could literally list those on eBay right now. I can list those on StockX right now, even though they've been worn. But since they're not making any more Grinches, I can sell them for today for two, three thousand bucks. I bought it for 500, I can sell for two, three thousand. Yeah. Right? Same thing could be said here. You know, would, by the way, for those of you sneakerheads, what's the term? Do you rock them or you stock them? Never, I never stock shoes, but I might buy this and stock it. Who knows, brother? This might be, this might be a good buy. This might be a good buy to buy this at uh, 16,000. Uh, he becomes president, he does what he does. It could be 30,000, it could be 40,000, it could be 50,000. Who knows, you hold it on for 30, 40, 50 years. The only president to go through, he's going through, and potentially if, he's, if he becomes the next president, if he doesn't become the next president, this ain't worth nothing. And for those of you watching, hey, thinking that you're gonna get another pair at 399, I, I think you missed the wave. Yeah, you missed the wave, unless yeah. he launches another pair. Exactly. So, so uh, you know, unless, it was really him and his friends buying a thousand pairs, and then they're all flipping it. Yeah, <laughs> they're all flipping it for sixteen thousand dollars. Who knows? So, if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.